Naomi Ovalle was born in Los Angeles, California, with a discoloration on her right arm. Her parents always cover it when she goes out in public. There's kids that, that look at her and uh, they kind of point out, but kind of like with a really ugly face, like that's, that looks ugly or whatever. And right now, Naomi doesn't really uh, uh, pay attention to them. She doesn't even realize what's, what's happening, but we know that there's going to be a point uh, that she's going to start uh, being affected by how other kids react. Naomi Ovalle is a happy, active two-year-old. She loves to read. She loves to dance. Wow, that's good dancing. But Naomi suffers from a rare, life-threatening disease. Naomi was born with a mole called a giant congenital hairy nevus covering her entire right arm. It's very rare, affecting only one in half a million newborns. Naomi's was hardly noticeable at birth. Again, looking at her, she had everything. She had two arms, two legs, two eyes. And uh, even though she had a, 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 at the time, which I just thought was a birthmark, uh, it, my mind just over, overlooked it. it. It didn't stick out to me. But within a month, the mole had taken over Naomi's entire right arm, covering it with coarse hair and turning her baby skin brittle. There's been a couple times where she just fell. No, nothing dramatic, but her skin broke. And sometimes chunks fall off. Naomi was just three weeks old when her parents took her to a dermatologist. The diagnosis was devastating. It was a congenital hairy nevus, and the chances of melanoma were pretty high because of where it was and how big it was. No one knows what causes a hairy nevus, but left untreated, it can evolve into a melanoma, the deadliest form of skin cancer. Melanomas kill one in every eight victims. Horrified by the news, Naomi's parents rushed her to a pediatric surgeon. The cure sounded worse than the disease. Suggested that we should think about taking off her arm just, um, just to remove that risk of melanoma. It was very hard to hear that they would consider removing her arm. And what was worse, What is worse is for someone to take away your hope. The only thing I could think of was Naomi, 16 years from now, asking us, was there anything that you tried doing? Was, did you try the internet, or did you call people, or did you try other doctors? So I knew in my heart that we had to try everything. But doctor after doctor made the same diagnosis. And they kind of look at her, and, and then kind of like, well, we can't really do anything for her. The specter of amputation, or the alternative, living with this potentially deadly deformity would hang over the Ovalles for nearly a year and a half. For a year and a half, David and Julie Ovalle took their daughter Naomi to pediatricians and skin specialists, hoping to find a cure for her congenital hairy nevus. The specter of amputation, or the alternative, living with this potentially deadly deformity, was hanging over them when they finally found a doctor who said he could help. Dr. Stephen Bresnik is a plastic surgeon in Encino, California. This type of birthmark can carry long-term a risk of skin cancer, melanoma skin cancer, which can be a, a deadly problem. And her birthmark was of a more severe type. It was very irregular had a lot of abnormal thickened skin, and I felt long-term was a health risk to her. Dr. Bresnik's bold plan was to surgically remove the nevus and replace it with healthy skin. The catch, the replacement skin had to come from Naomi herself. An, an arm in, a, in anybody is about eight or nine percent of the surface area of your body. The process, if successful, will take nearly two years. We're looking at a, a series of three sets of operations to remove the entire mole from her right upper arm. Um, so really looking at about nine surgeries to do that. The Ovalles agreed to go ahead with the surgeries. Started Naomi's surgery about uh, 7.30 this morning. And Naomi's father began taping her progress, from visits to the doctor, 
to the rides into surgery, to the parental vigils in the recovery room. By age three, Naomi had already had the first set of surgeries. The next visit to the doctor would tell if this procedure had any hope of restoring normality to Naomi's arm and to her family's life. Three-year-old Naomi Ovalle has received the first set of treatments to remove the hairy nevus from her arm. She's coming to see her doctor to evaluate the success of the first surgery. Hi, Naomi, how are you? Uh, are you fine? Dr. Stephen Bresnik has taken on a case that many refuse to treat. Yeah, so this is very nice here. Can I see the other side? Oh, thank you. That's healing well. While researching Naomi's birthmark, the Ovalles have learned a disturbing fact. Children with large congenital nevi, like Naomi's, have a greater likelihood of developing brain tumors. Her parents must carefully monitor any spread of her nevus, even as they plan for its removal. At this point, with a clean bill of health, Naomi and her parents will prepare for the next set of treatments. Thank you, sweetheart. Thank you. Oh, you have a good day, Naomi. We'll see you soon. Bye-bye. Bye-bye. Can you kiss me, too? Thank you. Today, Naomi is at Encino Tarzana Regional Medical Center for the start of her next set of surgeries. Hi. That's a... Hi, Poppy. How you doing? Good? Yes. Yes, did you like it right? Mm -hmm. Naomi's doctor, Stephen Bresnik, needs to create a piece of skin about three inches by six inches that can be used to cover Naomi's upper arm. To do this, he will insert a tissue expander under Naomi's skin. The tissue expander is simply a balloon. Each week, we'll be injecting saline into this expander through the port, and then this expander will stretch the overlying skin. He's already picturing Naomi as a young woman. He wants to create the fewest scars possible and put them where they'll be hidden by her clothes. We'll go ahead and make our incision now. We're just in the old scar. I want to leave a little bit of fat down over the hip bone, and I want to raise a little bit of fat with the skin. After 20 minutes, Dr. Bresnik finishes creating the pocket in Naomi's skin and carefully inserts the expander. After connecting the port, Dr. Bresnik tests it by injecting blue dye. The moment we've all been waiting for in this operation is to see if we can see blue coming into the expander to show us that all the plumbing that we've done has uh, been successful. And there's a beautiful blue color coming into the expander. You can actually see it being filled. After two hours, Naomi emerges from the OR. Over the next three months, Naomi will get weekly injections to fill the expander and stretch her skin. It won't hurt her, but as the expander grows, it will get more and more cumbersome for this active little girl. Three and a half year old Naomi has had her tissue expander stretching her skin for the last four months. It's not easy getting around, but she seems almost oblivious to the inconvenience. It has now stretched out enough to begin the skin graft process. What's your dog's name? Rice. Today, Naomi will have another big portion of her nevus removed. Here, Naomi, we have some people that want to say, see you later. Naomi, love you. I love you very much. I'll see you in a little bit, okay? Father, we want to thank you so much for your love for us. We thank you for the way that you've taken care of Naomi up to this point. We thank you for the doctors and the nurses who are taking such good care of her. Lord, we really look to you as the one who brings healing and health and strength. Amen. 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 Today, Dr. Bresnik hopes to remove most of the remaining nevus. A lot of this is just kind of eyeballing it figuring if I start removing and come around, how far can I get? Oh, we're gonna make a little pattern. He works like a dressmaker, cutting and comparing patterns. So I think we're gonna get a good amount out in the front. 
he will leave for another time those portions of the nevus which least affect Naomi's appearance, the inner arm and the elbow. I'd like to get that graft to get all the way to there. And I think from the front and from the side, she would have a, a pretty nice appearance. First, he shaves the hair from the mole. Her skin is very fragile. It bleeds sometimes if you just rub it. An incision now. The challenge now is to remove all the nevus cells while leaving the healthy fat, nerves, and blood vessels intact. There's a little tiny blood vessel right here. I'm going to try to leave it by coming up above it and dropping it down. And there it is. I've left it intact. Thank you. Dr. Bresnik covers the wound temporarily with what he calls a living bandage, cadaver skin, living skin from a deceased donor. It stimulates blood vessel formation so that when you place Naomi's own skin on, that skin has a better chance of adhering. To prevent blood from accumulating under the cadaver skin, it's run through a mesher. Fantastic thing about this is that there is a fine, almost like a, a, a lace, like structure that allows the body to drain fluids or blood that would accumulate under the graft. And there's our temporary cadaver skin. Dr. Bresnik staples the cadaver skin in place. It will be removed in about a week. Hi. Nice to see you. Everything went great. Okay. As expected, no problems. What's in the back of my mind, just the, the, the chance of her having some kind of malignancy under the nevus. Thank you. You bet. I always am happy when a doctor comes out happy. <laughs> the next step will be to graft Naomi's own skin onto the wound. If the graft adheres, Naomi will be 80% of the way to being rid of her disfiguring and lethal birthmark. Three-and-a-half-year-old Naomi Ovalle is arriving at Encino Tarzana Regional Medical Center for her next surgery, number six of eight. Today, she'll be getting a skin graft that will hopefully cover her upper arm. First, Dr. Bresnik inspects the cadaver skin that he placed over Naomi's arm a week ago. Even the doctors get excited about seeing, seeing what's underneath. The arm just looks nice and red and so much more vascular than it did last week where there was hardly any life in it at all. Now, Dr. Bresnik can remove the tissue expander from Naomi's side and harvest Naomi's healthy skin. The closest thing a plastic surgeon ever comes to delivering a baby. And here's our balloon. It is huge for a child of this size. The expander holds about 24 ounces of fluid. It added a pound and a half to Naomi's 45 pound frame, but it has caused her skin to stretch to the perfect size. You can see how much skin we've made with that expander, a tremendous amount of unscarred skin, and we'll have more than enough to harvest skin and close the defect. And now, and harvest our skin. After removing the expanded skin and suturing the wound, Dr. Bresnik prepares the new skin graft. The skin graft that we want is only from this brown portion to where the tips of my instrument are. It's only the skin. This is all fat and has to be removed. Naomi's body will hopefully produce more fat as she grows. But if there's any on the skin graft, it won't heal. We're gonna go ahead and we're gonna peel off the cadaver graft. I'm peeling it now. This time, bleeding is a good sign. It means new blood vessels have grown under the donor's skin. We're gonna take a look at the skin graft now. I'm looking for the optimal position to place the skin to get the most coverage that I can. Dr. Bresnik tests the skin graft in a variety of patterns. In the next surgery, I have a little bit of extra skin here. I'm gonna try to get this up to the shoulder. Got a good amount of the front of her shoulder covered. That'd be great. It has taken three hours and 500 stitches to get the skin graft securely in place. 
Naomi emerges from another successful surgery. Naomi's transformation is nearly over, but a new development in Naomi's disease is about to turn her parents' world upside down. Naomi Ovalle is recovering from her second set of surgeries. This is my skin graft, and this is my other skin graft. Now, much of her upper arm has been successfully covered. But the success of the graft is diminished by a new problem. The nevus condition is appearing on other areas of her body. And recently, a new and more troubling development. Her parents have noticed something odd about her eyes. In Naomi's eye, the white part of her eye, she was uh, starting to get some dark spots. A dermatologist diagnosed the spots as a form of nevus, with the possibility of it being a deadly form of cancer. Now her worried parents have scheduled an appointment with an eye specialist to see if this is true. Has she ever had an eye exam before? No. no. Naomi's parents noticed spots in her eyes, and a dermatologist diagnosed the spots as a form of nevus, which could be cancerous. Look at my bunnies. Do you see my bunnies? Look at those bunnies. Now her worried parents have brought her to an eye specialist to see if this is true. Okay, turn this a little more. The fact that she has a mole in her eye, it could uh, drastically affect her vision. It could also uh, affect her brain. Oh, yes, we're checking your eyes. Skin and brain tissue develop from the same fetal cell. So if there are nevus cells in the skin, it's more likely there will be some in the brain as well. She could start to get tumors, they would become malignant, and, and we would, we'd, would never want to lose her. It's just very serious. I bet you they look pretty. You have, oh, they're gorgeous. The results of Naomi's exam will be an indication of whether Naomi's nevus is spreading and turning malignant. Her eyes are totally normal in every way. I'm 100% healthy. The back of the eye is totally normal. There's no tumors or retinal problems or anything like that in the eye. And uh, the chance of her developing anything like that is exceedingly rare. Mm -hmm. And that is pretty much it. The spots on Naomi's eyes turned out to be a harmless pigment, not nevus or cancer. It's happy news to this family that has endured so much already. Give me five. Give me five. The hardest thing to not know what's going to happen. And then once we know, it's cool. Just, you know, go forward. <laughs> Hi, Naomi. How are you today? It has been three weeks since Naomi had the final surgery to remove the giant nevus from her arm. Today is a special day because you know why? We're going to take off your bandage today. This is the day Naomi's parents have been looking forward to. The time that we began surgery for Naomi was the right time. Our goal is to have her go into uh, kindergarten looking as normal as we can. And, and now that this giant mole has been removed, not only are a lot of the health risks eliminated, but the arm will have a much more normal appearance. I think in a couple weeks she'll be fine. She can do what all other kids her age uh, do, out, outside play and play with other children. Today, Naomi's parents can keep a promise they made to Naomi over two years ago. One of the things that was really hard for Naomi is actually going out and playing out of the park and stuff because of her tissue expanders, because of the cast, and she's always asked, you know, can I go to the park, Poppy? Can I go to the park? We are really very thankful for everything that, um, that Dr. Presnick has done to help us, and we know that we have been part of God's miracle in Naomi's life. So we will always be grateful.